Okay, so it's 11.15pm, it can only mean one thing. I've just watched the second episode of Kiss Me First on Channel 4, and these are my first reactions. I feel like a good way to express my first reactions to the show are to read out some of my tweets because again I was live tweeting. My first tweet was, gosh this show really is stunning, the real world has softened into such a glowing space, it took me a second to realise Layla was looking at the world as if it were Azana and not just showing the real world. The beginning segment of this episode was really stunning showing the real world I thought, the latter half has some beautiful animation uh, segments which I thought were done really well. There was a shot showing the animation of a tree and for a brief moment I could not tell whether it was animation or real life, it was that detailed. I really love the cinematography for both the real world and the animation, I think it's done so well. Later into the episode I tweeted, also have to admit I'm loving the representation of the show and how well the topics are tackled. That description of up days and down days was a nice use of an emoji there. So this relates to the fact that in this episode we explicitly get some background information on Tess, specifically her mental health. That was lovely to see on screen and how it is handled quite delicately. And giving it to the character to explain for herself gives a much more truthful um, depiction of it, I think. I also think this exploration of mental health issues could relate to Layla. She has a very particular way of looking at life. She's quite subdued and, and nothing really seems to faze her. I just think Layla's character is so interesting and I just can't wait to see where and how it develops. I put up another tweet saying, Kiss Me First is really going into some dark places and I'm loving it. What that references, I'm not gonna say because it's quite a big spoiler. If I don't spoil it for you, it will be a lot more shocking and moving in away. Moving is that the right word for it? But I'll stand by my point in saying the show is going into some really dark places. I like that a lot because with YA dramas I feel like it'd be too easy to skate over the dark topics, just keep it light and fun. And the show is doing the complete opposite. It's challenging. It has everything that would be put into any other TV show, perhaps even more so because it's targeted at a age group that isn't watching as much TV nowadays. It's all about streaming services. And so, so much thought has to be put into this. And by going into the dark places that it does, by presenting characters who are so developed, is working so well and is so interesting to watch. I also put another tweet up saying, I love how the show is moving the idea of wearing someone else's avatar into real life, with Layla trying on Tessa's clothes. Very subtle, very cool. So this goes into something I love about the show, the subtlety of some of its themes and ideas. Basing the show around technology and games obviously allows you to explore what it is to be inside someone else's body and to transition that virtual idea into the real life is so interesting. It works really well in developing Layla's character as someone who is quite lacking in self-confidence, someone who wants to be more than they are even if they don't necessarily know what or who that person is. I just saw it and thought it was such a clever little detail that gives the show a bit more depth to it. One of my um, later tweets, I think I actually tweeted this out at the end of the show, is just what? Because the ending of this episode is it's a very very good cliffhanger and I'm so interested for it to be explained, let's say. The episode is very strong. I don't think it's as strong as the first episode. It seemed to drag a little bit in the middle. However, it still is very strong. Putting my tweets aside now, I do think this episode is really good at characterization. Layla, Tess, John T, and especially Adrian. He kind of has that thing about him you see a lot in horror films, the quietness, the calmness that is so, so creepy. You know there's something just under the surface that could boil out at any second, but you don't know what and you don't know why. That is his character for me at the moment. My camera is dying. <laughs> it needs to be charged. It's so late at night. So I will share more details with you in the morning. So it turns out my first reactions pretty much covered all my thoughts on Make It Stop, the second episode of Kiss Me First. However, I watched the show again anyway and I still have a couple of points to add, so let's go. In my first reactions, I said how I felt the middle section of this episode seemed to drag just a little bit and I wasn't sure why. However, I think I have an idea now. A large part of this episode follows Layla trying to find out what happened to Calumny. However, at the end of episode 1, the audience are almost explicitly shown what happened. So there's a sense of dramatic irony that means the tension of this episode is massively reduced, hence it feeling a little bit slower. But on the other hand, that meant there was some great characterization for Layla, as I mentioned in my first reactions. Moving on from the pacing, I really enjoyed the cinematography of this episode. Specifically the short cuts at the beginning of this episode between Layla and Jonti when Layla's asking Jonti for the rent, which he obviously 
obviously does not have. This added a lot of humour to the episode and allowed for their relationship to build really nicely. I'm really enjoying seeing those two together because they're so contrasting characters. Secondly, in the latter half of this episode, there was a large use of really slow and long wandering shots that really felt as if they were letting you sink into the world of Azana and the society where Azana exists. I couldn't really pick a specific one of those shots because they're used quite a lot and are all so gorgeous. It really plays into the juxtaposition of the underbelly of Azana and the beauty of it, which is also reflected in the real world. And finally, I wanted to mention the introduction of one of the characters, Layla's old teacher, which I thought was a very interesting move and I feel like it's going to come back in later episodes. I don't think it was just a coincidence that he was there. But there was something he said that really added another layer to Layla's character for me, which was that he implied that she had been really, really accomplished at maths and technology. There are lots of hints that Layla's Azana gear is all made by herself, which I really, really appreciated. I've mentioned this before, but I just love how unapologetically female-led this show is, especially surrounded by the theme of technology, which is so male-dominated. Layla, making all of her own things, is so brilliant to see on screen and is so empowering to many, I think. Anyway, that's all I have to say about the second episode of Kiss Me First. I really hope you're enjoying these videos as well as the TV show itself. If you are, then please leave me a like and a comment down there and be sure to subscribe for more. And I'll see you when I see you.